Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Brianna Wilson. I'm a certified dementia practitioner and the founder of Bamboo Care. So today is an exciting video because I finally get to review the perfect pets, the original breathing pet. And so here she is. This is the one that I have. And there's her cute little face. I think I've decided on the name Princess. I had my Bamboo Care Champions help me come up with a name and they thought it should be something regal. And so one person suggested Princess, um, another suggested Toffee, but I think we're gonna go with Princess, at least for now. So she is a Cavalier King Charles and she comes in this carrying box. She also comes with a brush that looks like this. And a nice little touch that they added is that she comes with a certificate of adoption. The front is English and the back is in Spanish. And then it also comes with this congratulations on adopting your pet. Dear customer, it tells you how not to void the warranty, which basically you want to avoid pressing or pushing on the tummy breathing area, which I'll show you in just a second. And then caring for your perfect pet's animal, training your pet, build a bond with love and affection and grooming. And so this one's in English and this one's in Spanish, okay? So let me show you her again. So as you can see in this section right here, it kind of lowers and raises. If you can hear, she does make a sound and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a snoring sound or it's just the mechanism but there is a bit of a rhythm to it. So it is like a light snoring sound. Now, when I first turned her on by pulling out the tab, it was a little bit louder than it is now. It's more subtle. And so that is the breathing mechanism. And so that's what's supposed to help it look a little bit more realistic. It already looks realistic just looking at it, just with her laying here. The coat looks very realistic. I think her face looks really realistic and is well done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is tell you kind of the things that I like about this particular model and things that I do not like. Now, if you don't know, therapeutic pets or stuffed animals can be really good for people living with dementia for a wide range of reasons, and I'll do a whole podcast episode on it. But just to start, they can provide comfort, they can calm people down, they can decrease wandering, they can enhance communication, especially for people who like to talk to their pets, so it can provide social interaction as well. And it also gives something for someone to give love to and receive love back from. And it can just enhance overall quality of life, okay? A person's overall well being. So let's start with the pros. So the pros is that she does look very realistic, okay? Her coat is very realistic to the touch. She has a very soft fur, okay, from, I mean, all parts of her fur is very soft. I also enjoy brushing her. Her fur brushes really, really well, and it's quite enjoyable. That's kind of my favorite thing to do so far since I've had her, is to brush her. Now, some things that I do not like is even though her fur is very soft, she is very rigid, okay? She is rigid and has a flat bottom, which I do not like, okay? This, cute. This, not so much, okay? Another thing that I don't like besides her rigid body is that even though they say that they put a lot of quality and love into creating this particular animal, which they do come in a variety of different breeds. This is just the one that I chose. Something I noticed is that around her edges, she has so much glue, okay? And even when I first got her, she also had a little bit of glue in her ears because her ears are not free. They are glued to her head, okay? As you can see, like they don't lift up. The hair lifts up, but her ears do not lift up. And so there was some glue in her ears as well. One thing that I do like is that they did not glue the tail, okay? It doesn't wag or anything, but it's not like stuck to the body, which I do like. It would be nice, a little added feature for it to just, you know, wag every once in a while. I think that would have been a cute addition, okay? But I do not like this whole bottom situation here. 
Another thing that I do not particularly like, though I do understand after reading more about it, is that once you activate her, she does not turn off. There is no on or off switch. She has this battery pack. You have to use a flathead screwdriver to pull out the battery, and I'll post a picture of what that looks like here. So you have to take out her battery to turn it off. But that was done purposefully, according to the company, because they want this animal to be as realistic as possible. They don't want you to be able to determine when you can allow it to breathe and not breathe, okay? And that can be especially important, especially for people living with dementia, because many will believe that this is a real animal. And so if it were to stop breathing, that can be very traumatic. And I have heard that happening. So once you activate the battery by pulling out this red tab, she'll start breathing. And according to the company, the battery is supposed to last for about two months, okay? But if you don't watch that, right, what can happen is the battery will die and your person may think that their animal has died. And so like I said, I have heard that happening where a person's pet stopped breathing and so they thought it was dead and that's not good. So what I would recommend is knowing that it dies every two months about, I would replace the battery like once a month, okay? Take it away into another room from your partner, replace the battery, and then she'll continue breathing. But you definitely don't want to let your pet stop breathing if your partner believes that it's real because people will get used to hearing the sound but also seeing the belly kind of raise and lower, okay? Another thing to note is that she does shed, just like a regular dog, she does shed. And so if you look in the brush, I don't know if you can tell because of the contrast, it, yeah, it's pretty poor, but she does shed, okay? So that's another thing that can be a con. I have hair all over my shirt. I don't think you can see it though. But all in all, I really do like this particular model, but it's only really good for people who like to just have like a lap chill dog, someone who doesn't mind just having this maybe sit in their lap and they pet it because the bed does come with it and they just pet it or, you know, brush it occasionally or have it on side of them and they pet or brush it, you know, occasionally or even they like having it laying in bed with them. But this is definitely not for someone who likes to hold their dog, right? Because she's not, she's not made to hold, okay? She's only made to really lay in her bed or on a flat surface. So that's important to know. If your partner likes a more active dog that wags its tail and barks and moves around, this is not that type of pet. And so that's something that you wanna keep in mind when you choose a therapeutic pet or stuffed animal for your partner is what type of dog do they like? What do you think they would want their pet to do or what would they want to do with their pet? Okay, but if your partner loves like the chill lap dog that they can just look at and pet and brush, then this is perfect because I do quite enjoy it. Um, I really like how she feels to the touch and I love brushing her fur like I said. So what I'm going to do because her battery is supposed to last for two months is I'm just going to let her run for two months and I'm going to take care of her as far as like brushing her fur and petting her. You don't have to feed it, which is nice, right? And so I want to see how long her battery lasts for me, and then I will update you guys in the description box, okay? But if you guys have any questions about this particular model, again, this is the Perfect Pets, the original breathing pet, definitely let me know. And yeah, I think that's it, guys. So until next time, bye, guys.